minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. The villain Longchance is poised across the river forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly formed army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see great distance. Rob Wigan. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. You found some sheep? Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting a gather point. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and Keep making villagers at your town center until you have 10. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. The hill with a dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the fuel age. Twelve soldiers. An English outpost. You know what to do. Knock it down. the dock and build a fishing ship. Ships are also useful for exploring. Mm -hmm. 
Kill the barracks and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm yeah. needs only one villager working on it. on them in your town center. Click your town center, then click town bell. Good! You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town center, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. militia to men-at-arms at the barracks. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford them.
keep exploring the map. enough force to attack the English base. Charge! Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more troops.
We held the coastline. Word came in that the Stirling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now we know his name Sir William Wallace, the Hammer of the English. Edward Longshanks names Wallace a traitor and a criminal, but Sir William replies that he cannot be a traitor since he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigor. Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn. <laughs> 